We are continuing the conversation this morning about snake season. It just started at the beginning of the month and already dozens of you have sent us pictures of snakes that you have spotted in your yard and also in your house. Ooh. So during the last hour, we also told you about an increase at one local emergency vets office here in our area and the number of dogs admitted with snake bites. This is two year old Sunny who was bitten in her backyard in about a week and a half ago. She recovered doing just fine now as you can see, but vets say that that venomous snake bites can be deadly for a pet. So this morning, we want to help you better understand how to tell the difference between a venomous snake and a relatively harmless one. Dan Maloney is joining us now via Zoom this morning. Dan, good morning. Hey, Jen, it's so good to see you. Great to see you, Danny. You know, I, I know you worked for years at the Jacksonville Zoo, so you certainly know a lot about local snakes. You're now working at the Louisville, Kentucky Zoo. We miss you. Would you explain how to tell if a snake is venomous for those of us who might spot one in our yard? Sure. You know, Florida's got more venomous snakes than Kentucky certainly does. And it's great being a director here at the zoo, but I miss all our friends at WJXT and Vic's beard looks great, by the way. Uh, you know, when we when when you're you're looking at uh, venomous snakes, they typically uh, will have a, a kind of a more triangular head, but that's not always the case. And some of our snakes, uh, some of the snakes in Florida, like water snakes that are harmless, uh, often will flatten their heads to mimic a uh, a venomous snake. So are, are there, you know, specific snakes that we can kind of run down? I know we've got some photos as well. Uh, you know, I, I was just telling Vic, I don't stay that close to a snake to try to determine based on coloring and everything. But a lot of people, you know, uh, we want, there are some snakes that should not be killed for an ex for example, because they're not all bad. Can you run down the ones that are considered venomous a, a, as we describe the pictures? Sure, but just as a, as a point of, of uh, a point to make, no snakes should really be killed because they're snakes. And I have a friend right here. This is this is Cornelius. And some people might think Cornelius is a copperhead, uh, but in reality, he's he is a corn snake. He's a harmless corn snake, and they love to eat rodents. So in Florida, you've got you know you've got two kinds of rattlesnakes. You have timber rattlesnakes and diamondback rattlesnakes. You have pygmy rattlesnakes. Uh, there are cotton mouths or water moccasins. There are also uh, there are also copperheads and coral snakes. So Florida certainly has a good share of venomous snakes. You're right, and, and I, I apologize. I was not suggesting that we should kill all snakes right. by any means. I uh, just, you know, was concerned about anyone who might encounter one and, you know, feel sure. trapped by where they are in that location. So where would we most likely then come across a snake, for example? I mean, where do they typically hide? Well, you know, I think uh, in the case of Sunny, and I'm so glad she's doing well, uh, you know, if you've got a backyard where you're either uh, have a big wood pile or a lot of rocks, or you have timber uh, or lumber you know, stored there, or you're adjacent to an area where there's uh, where there's good cover for these animals. Uh, you know that's the spot where you might encounter some snakes. Uh, for the most part, though, snakes don't want to encounter you. They're not looking to hunt you down, regardless what Samuel L. Jackson might say on a plane. They really don't want to be around what you're holding and being confused with other snakes that are venomous that have some of those coloring, you know, some of those different colorings sure. on them. So I, I certainly get it and I can see why it gives some people a little pause. It certainly does me if I see a snake. <laughs> uh, Dan, thanks for your insight this morning. I cannot tell you how many people have sent us pictures of snakes in their yard. So I really appreciate helping to educate our viewers about how to know which ones are dangerous and which ones are not. Sure, Celebr celebrate the serpents. That's what we uh, that's what we want want people to do. And it's so good seeing you. Uh, say all, say hi to all our friends in uh, Jacksonville. I will take care to you, Dan, and be sure to our viewers to join us tomorrow morning at eight fifteen. Far too many people make mistakes when treating a snake bite. What you should never do if you are bitten. We are busting snake bite myths, not just for humans but also for pets as well. Again, that's tomorrow at eight fifteen, right here on the morning show.